How's it going everybody, Baji Pokemon here, and welcome to my Dark Phantasma opening. Now this is a product I have to admit I haven't opened yet, so this is why I want to open it in this video. Most of the cards that I wanted, or some of the cards that I wanted, I've actually bought uh, just straight up as singles. For example, the um, the Erezu and recently the, the Pikachu. And those were like, I don't want to say my chase cards because I didn't open them, but upon expecting the... Um, the uh, what should we call it? The card list. There are a few more cards that I would like to get, to be honest. Like mostly the um, the trainer gallery from the Arcanine and the Gengar. Those would be kind of cool. And then of course, I mean the card you wanna pull is the the golden Hizuian um, Zoroark. So I knock over the box while opening this booster pack. But you know it is what it is. There you go. Put this right there. Let's see what we can get here. Starting off with a Krogunk, a Zorua, a Bomb of Snow, we got an Iscan, and a Magnazone V. Nice. Oh, and the reverse, I've forgotten. These sets usually have these really cool looking uh, reverse rares. Really nice. So we're starting it off with a Magnazone. Kind of looks familiar to our, um, what should we call it? Lost Abyss versus Lost Origin battle. We've pulled like two Magnazones from uh, from Lost Origin. So yeah. Anywho's the um, the V Star Universe set has finally been officially revealed. Like once this video comes out for a while now, and it looks amazing. Speaking of uh, Zoroark. Like, the Zoroark you can get from, from V-Star Universe, like, among other amazing cards I'm sure that are yet to be revealed. That one looks so, so beautiful. I, I'll actually put up a picture on the screen, somewhere, if I can find the space, of the, of the Zoroark I'm speaking of. Because that card is, uh, is really beautiful as we pull a Volo. This also would be a pretty cool, um, full art. I, I wonder, uh, how many... Like, uh, Lee, oh not leaks, um, guessing by the numbers, the set might actually be, end up smaller, um, compared to VMAX Climax, which I think is good. You know, too many cards, in my opinion, kind of ruins it. I, I do like smaller sets, but hey, if we, if we can get amazing looking cards, that's, I'm, I'm all in for that. They still haven't announced the um, the pull rates. You know, usually you can expect uh, for VMAX Climax, for example, you can expect like three character rares and like one character secret rare, and then you have a chance to pull a a full art secret rare, like we did in our VMAX Climax opening, where we pulled the speaking of Zorok. There you go. Oh, nice. Okay, this is a really really cool trainer gallery card. I already have this. I recently bought this, but you know. This is like this is like one of the best trainer gallery cards or character rares you can you can grab from this set. This is really really nice. We still have plenty of chances to go or a few chances to go. So yeah. Speaking of pull rates from from Vmax Climax, uh, I I'm guessing it would be similar. Now there aren't character rares in V Star Universe. Um, there are similar cards you know look similar to that. They don't they just don't feature a trainer on there with their respective Pokemon, but uh, that's why they are called Art Rares, actually. It's like Art Rare and then Art Secret Rare. So you can probably expect like um, three Art Rares and one Art Secret Rare and then together with um, with like a full art, maybe a full art trainer if you're lucky or something like that. They also didn't say yet if God Packs are making a return. Which I'm I'm guessing they will. Oh nice, V-Star Magnazone. The Magnazone box we have here. God packs. I've I've never had a, a God Pack before. I've opened a couple of actually no, I wanna say I've opened a lot. A lot of VMAX Climax. I didn't get a uh, God Pack, but you know you never know. Maybe V-Star Universe is my time to shine for the God Pack. Let's pull a nice Raichu, that's a wind-up arm. And Iskan. The Iskan full art in, in this set, while it is pretty, pretty cheap, and last, last I recall it's pretty cheap, it's actually 
I, I like it. I quite like it. It's like, it's so cheeky. Hopefully we pull it so I can show it off. It's like his, the look on his face is so cheeky. I love it. Anywho's. See what else we can get in here. So we pull a Machamp in this one. Nice. So what I'm really hoping for for V-Star Universe, I'm going to try to pick up as many boxes as I can. Well, depending on how the price is at the start, you know, I'm, I'm guessing at the start it's will, it will be similar to VMAX Climax. Like at the start it will be somewhat expensive, but they're probably going to print that set a lot. Similar as they did to VMAX Climax. Nice. Zoroark. Okay, let's just get these packs out of here. So I can put the box aside so we have a bit more space and I don't accidentally knock the box over. We have got a, we got plenty of boosters still to go through. Still have two more Trena Gallery cards to pull or character rares. And then our secret rare. Wonder what it'll be. Wonder what the secret rare will be. You know, after having a lot of luck with VMAX Climax and uh, Paradigm Trigger. Nice! Okay, there's a... This is one of the the uh, character rest I really wanted from this set. So this this is already really really cool. Nice. We've got we've got two of the best ones in this set in my opinion. These two are absolutely beautiful. I like them. Really really like them. Of course, a Basque Legion or Basculin. So yeah, I still don't know when I will release this video, but if it if all goes to plan, then Silver Tempest should be coming out in a few days. Or it already will have come out, depends on when the video is released, I still don't know. But yeah. The um one other thing I wanted to talk about, I I ordered the um the golden anniversary, like the 25th anniversary, the golden box, the Japanese one. I ordered that on Amazon because it was up. Uh, it was only for exchange orders, so that ended up getting ended up getting cancelled, unfortunately. I honestly expected it to get cancelled, to be quite honest. Because, well, it did say it was only for exchange orders, so... Judging by the email from Amazon Japan, you had to have like a an email link or something, or they had to write you an email, so that you can order it. Nice Gudra. And that's why all the other orders got got cancelled. Man, I have to say, time and time again, these smaller boxes are super cool because you get so much stuff, you don't get as much fluff, I want to say, as in the other boxes, for example, Paradigm Trigger. I got so many commons and uncommons that are just going into my my bulk storage. But for this one, you, I, I feel like you get more, more for your money, but that might not end up being true as we pull a Radiant Sneasler. That's not the the Radiant card I wanted. I would have would have preferred the the Radiant Gardevoir, but hey, I can't complain about this one. The the Japanese Radiant cards, in my opinion, just look so much better than the than the English counterparts. Still got about five boosters to go through. Our secret rare hasn't shown yet, so hopefully it will end up in in like one of the last packs. That's always kind of exciting to put it like last, as opposed to like in one of the the early Apex, Bronzong, and a Arcanine. Oh, and here's our final, final Trina Gallery card or character rare. I keep mixing them up. The Spirit Tomb, of course. That's like one of the cooler ones as well. Would have preferred the Gengo or the Snorlax over this one, but hey, at least we got one of the ones that I really wanted. And this one, the Pikachu one, is like one of the coolest. So there you go. That's our our trainer gallery cards. Now there's our character rares. Keep mixing them up. There's still a chance that uh, for our secret rare spot, that we get a um, a character secret rare, which would either be the um, the Enamorous or the Galate. Both very very cool. I'd be happy to pull either of those. But we'll see what we can get here as we pull nice. The Zuyan Zoroark V-Star, that's our second V-Star that we're basically promised from this box. Still, the secret rare has to be hiding in one of these, unless... Unless this box was open and wait, which I don't think so. 
don't think so, but, you know, let's open these last few packs and just find out, I suppose. Pull a Wurmple, a Pikachu, very nice. Another wind-up arm, a Gliscor, a Volo again, and a um, Haunter. Two packs left. Is it really Heimdy hiding in one of the last packs? Or maybe there's no secret here. Or we already pulled the secret here and I've completely missed it, but I don't think we did. I don't think we did. Okay. Chimeco, Zubat, Arcanine. Murkrow or Hunchcrow. Okay, Galate, our last V. And the reverse. Okay, let me just sleeve up the Galate. That's actually a really cool Galate. I really like this artwork. That was really nice. Okay, last pack. This has to have our secret rare in, right? Like the secret rare has to be in in this pack right here. So that means I'll put the the reverse right here, so we have a bit more suspense towards it. And let's see, so a bomb of snow. Got a cascoon, I think. We got Iskan. We've got a Mr. Mime. And what will our secret rare be? Oh, an Enamorus! Okay. The wrong kind of Enamorus. Would have preferred the, the character secret rare, but hey. At least we get a secret rare as I ran out of sleeves. Just grab one real quick. Here we go. All right. So anyways, that was my Dark Phantasma opening as I pull the, the pulls into view. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then a like would be appreciated. If you really love the content, then subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content in the future. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hope I will see you in the next one. Peace, peace.